Now to the latest on the back and forth between the Yuma County Hospital District number one and Yuma Regional Medical Center. The district is being accused of illegally sneaking this property tax past voters. And Samantha Bird shares more on the story. The lease agreement lawsuit between YRMC and the hospital district board is still ongoing, meaning property owners in Yuma County are still being taxed. The district has a right pursuant to section 1914 <coughs> to tax on behalf of the people of Yuma to make sure that they can operate. The Yuma County Board of Supervisors approved another property tax Monday morning at the request of the Hospital District Board 1 for the upcoming fiscal year. The last tax approved was over $1.1 million. The Hospital District says it's mainly to cover legal fees brought by a lawsuit from YRMC. The lawsuit started in 2020. Before then, the District Board had never taxed the community, saying it was a last resort to defend themselves. We have a statutory obligation to assure that the hospital, the facilities, and the operation of such is in the best interest of the people of Yuma County. But just days before the Board of Supervisors adopted the hospital district tax, included in the county tax rates for 2023-2024, the Goldwater Institute wrote a letter to the board trying to stop them. This Goldwater letter came at the 11th hour, just before the final date, the approval YRMC says it agrees with the Goldwater Institute on holding the hospital district accountable. Property owners received their tax bill and started calling the hospital and they were very angry that there was a property tax and they were never um, given the opportunity to vote on the tax. But the hospital district board's attorney says otherwise. Every meeting is open to the public. No members of the public have come in to complain about the tax, and no member of the Goldwater Institute came in to publicly complain about the tax. YRMC says none of the money collected goes back to the hospital, and the Board of Supervisors can't change that. And the County Board of Supervisors, in their own right, also um, don't have a right to not approve the tax. Um, so that's that's disheartening. The next step in the process is the trial between YRMC and the Hospital District Board 1, which we just learned has been delayed until next year. Reporting in studio, Samantha Bird, News 11.